Good afternoon. The sun is setting. The dogs are watching. The alpaca are eating. And the sheep are buying. That is my life. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks for joining me today. I'm excited to bring you along. I've got a question that I'm going to try to answer today. Maybe it's just user error. Come with me and we'll find out. I showed you all the, the, the pool in our previous uh, one of the other videos. But one thing we had to do here because of our slope is landscaping. So I'm going to turn this camera around and let's take a look here. What you can see here is a beautiful, pretty steep slope. So from that walkway down here to the bottom where this grass is, it drops about four feet. And so that's a fairly decent slope. And as you can see, a lot of these boulders are two to four man boulders or rocks that I put along here. These are moss rock. And then I got native Texas river rock here. Um, and then we've planted some plants right here. This plant right here is blue mist. The butterflies absolutely love it. And it grows periphiously. I've got some here. I got some planted over here. And then we've also been able to get our hands on some beautiful... Whoa, I'm going to fall on these rocks. Ah! On this beautiful variegated agave plant. We got several of those. We're very, very lucky to have those. Um, and then just various other plants that we have here uh, to start filling this in. This We just finished this. We got a lot more to do. Um, but this came out really nice. I absolutely love it. Uh, just a nice, beautiful look to it. And it holds the, the soil back and everything for erosion very, very well. All right, I'm gonna take a walk around my garden here and I'm gonna give you all a little update. If you remember, I, I'm gonna put a link in my uh, video here for you to be able to see where I made these raised garden beds. And I wanna point out a couple things to you here. So on this raised garden bed right here, I have, as you can see, this black tarp right here. I've got a black tarp, lay, uh, covers the inside. And I've got a real bad problem with moles out here and I also, uh, did something to keep the moles out and so if you want to check that out be sure to click the video that I'm going to put like right here somewhere around there uh, so these raised garden beds have done great for us this year this is my first year to have a raised garden bed I'm in wide open spaces as you can see all the way around me there's no trees this is facing due south right here and um, and there's no trees here it's wide open sky it's wonderful and this raised garden bed is has done phenomenal um right now i got some spaghetti squash in here we got some carrots the late winter carrots that i did a few herbs asparagus basil and some things and then um i've got uh some um oh look at these these look great don't they man these look phenomenal these are uh spaghetti squash hey you know what i should do a video of that and uh, what in the tarnations have I got going on here? I don't think so. We need to keep this ready. PG, get out of here. You little rascals. <laughs> oh my gosh, I couldn't believe I just saw that. Sorry, PG. All right, so let's see here. Um, but but that's that's different. So this, this raised garden bed right here, just doing great i had tons of kale and lettuce i've got some lettuce that's coming back up right here tons of kale and lettuce and uh, tomatillos and things all out of this one garden bed and if i remember uh it's it's a four or yeah four by ten garden bed 10 feet long four feet wide and uh and this right here is well can you guess that's it, it's broccoli. And I need to cut some of this because as you can see, I let this go and, and I'm ashamed of myself here. This is just perfect. I need to cut that uh, actually today. But some of this other stuff I need to get rid of. But as you can see here, I've got two flower beds. I've got that one and I've got this one. And as you can see, this one down here, it has virtually nothing in it. Um, why is that? Look at this. 
those are some peppers that I've planted. Those are like two months old and I just can't get them to grow. This spaghetti squash that I planted here was planted at the same time that I planted this spaghetti squash. So what's the difference? Let me tell you, what I attempted to do is create a huga culture bed out of this. And as you can see here, let me grab a little bit of this. This is all wood chips right here that's come to the top. I filled this flower bed with a ton of wood chips. And I'm just going to go down a little bit here. And as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see this very well. It's kind of warm because it's decomposing. But, but there's only probably two or three inches of dirt that were here. And then once you get down here, it's just nothing but wood chips. Is that the right way to do hygge culture? Absolutely not. So if you recall, hygge culture is actually, what you're going to end up doing is, is create like a um, wood underneath where you have a bunch of soil on top. Now, a couple inches of soil is not enough for a plant really to take root. So what I've done is I really made a mistake here. Had I have taken this flower bed and filled it up all the way to the top with dirt, keeping in mind there's about an inch or two of, of dirt down here. If I'd filled this up all the way to the top with dirt, then I would be in a situation where I had enough dirt there and the wood chips underneath would be able to decompose. But I would have enough dirt here on top to be able to uh, provide a room for the, the um, roots to grow. So I realized that mistake when I planted my first crop in here, when everything sprouted and died. Kind of reminds me of the biblical story where it talks about the seed that's cast out. When the seed is cast out, it either falls on the on the good soil and it takes root. It gets good, good deep roots and lasts for a long time, the whole season. But if it's thrown off on the 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 dirt or or uh, rocky soil, what what happens on the rocky soil is it sprouts quickly. And it gets small and then it dies. And that's basically what's happened here. Um, so, so I think hygge culture does work. I've seen lots of examples of it. This is just a felled application of hygge culture. So if you are planning on doing hygge culture, be sure that you have enough dirt so that your plants can really take root and grow. All right, friends, thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate you coming along. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe so you can uh, see when the next video comes up. And also, I want to hear your stories. What successes have you had with hygge culture? Put those below. And then if you've had lessons learned, like me, put those below as well in the comments. Let us, let's have a discussion about it. Thanks again for coming. And uh, with that, see you next time, friends. Bye.